Hi everyone, it's Nicole. Welcome back to my channel and another card making video tutorial. Today I have a simple and easy coloring on craft video. I wanted to share how easy it can be to create a beautiful card. So a lot of my videos are super in depth and detailed and you don't always have to do that. So that's what I'm hoping to do today and still create beautiful results. We're gonna start with a stencil. Any kind of stenciling will do here, but I am partial, you guys probably know this already, to hearts. This is a heart stencil from Simon Says Stamp from the Simple Duo. This stencil set has hearts and stars, um, but any kind of, of stencil is gonna work here. And I'm taking three shades of Distress Oxide ink on Craft cardstock. Craft is really the, the magic here. You could also do this on white like you might normally do, but I wanted to show something different. Even another colored cardstock would be beautiful. I am using Tattered Rose, pardon me, Saltwater Taffy and Festive Berries for my ombre effect. And again, I did use the um, Emerald package dies the largest frame from this it's an awesome set of dies you guys this is one of the brand new die sets from mama elephant and it creates this beautiful frame there's a smaller frame like this and then a couple of tags which you guys know i love i also went around the edges of my middle panel with whatever ink was left on my pink blending brush. I do use separate blending brushes for my Distress Oxide inks. And that is gonna soften the effect and almost blur the edges just a little bit. Next, I am going to ink up a greeting from the Happy Hedgehog stamp set, also a new product from the release. I've used the new Concord and Ninth black ink to stamp my greeting. And then I'm going to place this in my splatter box and we're gonna take some liquid stardust and we are going to splatter our background. This is totally optional, but I wanted a little bit of that star dusty sparkle. And when it's wet like this, you're not really seeing a lot of the sparkle, but as it dries, it's going to be super, super pretty. I think white gouache, or even white paint splattered on the background would be awesome as well. I'm gonna set that aside to dry while I stamp and color my images. I do wanna say, start to finish, you guys, this card took 38 minutes. <laughs> so very, very fast. My cards usually don't, but um, I do get asked that question a lot and I don't always pay the best attention to the time it takes. And so when I know how long it takes, I like to tell you. On a scrap of craft cardstock, I am going to take the images I am picking from the Happy Hedgehog stamp set. I picked the cutie on the mushroom, of course, the butterflies, and a couple of flowers. It's really hard to pick. This is one of my favorite stamp sets that they've done uh, as far as critters. I just think it's so, so sweet. Uh, absolutely love it. So once I have these on there, I am going to stamp them with an alcohol-friendly ink. My preference is Hero Arts Intensified Black ink. I know there are lots of other inks that work well. Now I am going to use Olo markers today. They are an alcohol ink marker like like your Copics or other alcohol ink markers, they have been what I've been using a lot lately, or they are what I have been using a lot lately is how I should say that. And mostly because my Copics are older and I was finding I re was refilling them a lot. I am loving these markers. One big difference about these, and I will link to some additional Olo markers down below, is that you can connect them. Um, so you can have your two shading colors on the same marker because they have a connector ring and um, you can choose how to buy them. You could buy them like you would an alcohol, like a Copic with a chisel and a brush tip, but I chose all brush. I don't use the chisel tip. So to me, that was a waste. So I, you're gonna notice that I have brush tips and I have the shaders on most of my markers like this. I am gonna start coloring. One thing I want to mention with any alcohol marker is that they are generally recommended for um, Express It blending card, which gives you beautiful results. I honestly didn't do that for a very long time. I used Nina uh, Solar White for most of my Copic coloring and it was great, but I, w I have tried Copics on the Express It blend and it's 
better. <laughs> um, just as far as that goes. So keep in mind that if you're coloring on something different, this is Nina Desert Storm cardstock, you might have to adjust your coloring. Like I wouldn't oversaturate the paper. I am finding the more I color with Olos, the more comfortable I get with them. They are new. I remember when my Copics were new and they would bleed really badly. So I'm learning not to oversaturate my paper with these and the results are much better. And the other thing with Olo, you don't have to go over and over and over what you've colored. And so I am finding that as I am adjusting and learning these markers, my results are better. Um, I love how alcohol ink markers look on craft cardstock. I'm a big fan of colored pencils on craft cardstock, and I have been trying my hand at quite a few cards on craft, like coloring on craft lately, and I love the results. So kind of my point of this is, even though Express It Blend might be recommended, and I do love it, absolutely, it's okay to try other paper, other cardstock, and see what results you get. It's just paper. Um, my feeling is if this didn't work, I'm cutting off a little maybe what, two by four piece of cardstock and I can go on my way and use something else. But I love it and what I really love is how this is going, the edges when I die cut these with the coordinating Creative Cuts dies for Mama Elephant, it's going to blend into the background seamlessly. That's probably my favorite thing of this. Plus it just is a little bit more soft and muted without the the white outline. All of the marker color combinations I'm using today will be listed down in the description below the video here on YouTube and they're listed underneath the photo on my blog post. There is a link to that blog post as well. This card is part of a Mama Elephant blog hop so uh, definitely check out all of the stops along the hop for lots of inspiration for the April 2023 release. I mean, look, as the especially as the colors absorb into the cardstock, the color really, or as they dry, pardon me, they pop. When you first put on, especially some lighter colors, it just looks like the cardstock is wet, but as the color, you know, the, the alcohol ink evaporates, the, the alcohol evaporates, you're left with beautiful color. I am always amazed at how the color pops on the craft. This was very, very fast coloring. Lots of pinks and reds. I know um, I tried to make this not Valentine's-y feeling, even though I love Valentine's-ish colors, um, because, you know, we're in April when this is released. Definitely not Valentine's, although wouldn't this be cute for Valentine's Day? <laughs> um, I think with a few more hearts and things, it would be great. I think hearts are good anytime. I also think red and pink is good anytime. And it just says spring to me. Even with the hearts, it says spring. So here is my background. It's pretty well dry. I am popping my hedgehog in place with foam. I think foam adhesive is always a good idea. I like how it gives a little bit of dimension. I'm going to glue my flowers directly onto the background on either side. Just kind of helps balance everything out and adds a little bit more color. And then our two butterflies, I am popping up with small foam adhesive. Um, even for, I think the second one, I even cut a small square in half. I love that. I am going to die cut my emerald package frame two more times. I think it's going to give a little bit more of a dimension framed up look, especially when I add a little embellishment here in a minute. Then I'm going to take a top fold card base, glue down that first one, add glue to the center panel, and then replace their inlay our center little scene and then we're going to glue the two additional craft frames on top. I always love just having that little bit of dimension. You could put foam underneath this if you wanted to and didn't want to cut the extra cardstock. Those inside pieces from the two other frames is great if you want to stamp additional images and make other cards or you could stamp the tags from the emerald package and make some tags. I think that would be cute too. Might have to be doing that a little bit later this month. Now it's time to embellish. I think we need a heart, of course. I don't like that first one. It looks a little 
deformed. Uh, I'm going to take this candy apple heart from Trinity Stamps. We're going to pop that right underneath the greeting. And then I felt like the frame needed a little embellishing, so I took these Pretty Pink Posh Latte Pearls and added three to each corner. Thank you guys so much for joining me today for this Mama Elephant themed card using products from the April 2023 release. The supplies I used are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Thank you so much for joining me today for another paper crafting tutorial. I love being able to share with this incredible community of crafters. I want to give a huge shout out and special thank you to my amazing Patreon members. If you're interested in joining Patreon, please click the link in the description underneath the video here on YouTube. Patreon is a private community where you can support more of what I do. There's exclusive content. You'll receive a handmade birthday card from me during your birthday month, monthly lives for my top tier patrons, and more. We would love to have you join our growing community. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel, click the like button, and don't forget to click the notification bell so you're always notified when I have a video or go live. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you again next time.